The music business, since we started Strange Music 16 years ago, has changed drastically. Since we started, everything has went digital. Then there are streaming services like Spotify that want to pay you as an artist 70% of a fraction of a penny. I say it in a song we got on this album called Anti. It didn't actually make the album, but it's an extra. I said 70% of a fraction of a penny is a game crisis. You cannot run a business on 70% of a fraction of a penny, no matter how many fucking copies you sell. I mean, you have to sell like a billion copies, maybe. I don't know, man. I think that there's light at the end of the tunnel. I think that Spotify is finding out that, oh, this is fucked up. We're gonna kill the music industry by making it this cheap for fans to get music. Now, for the people that use Spotify, it's wonderful, it's easy. Wow, they don't feel like that they're fucking us up. That's what's the devil. That's why all my other albums weren't on Spotify because like people are like, why isn't something else on Spotify tech and over overseas, that's how they get their music. They don't have Best Buy and shit, <clears throat> you know? So I said, I'm not gonna make these fucking masterpieces and get less than a penny for it. I'm sorry. Now Tra Travis tells me that Spotify is bending for us now because they saw our stance and will pay us more than a penny. <laughs> so we stood and we're making a difference because we stood. It's different today because Making everything easy for the consumer makes everybody lazy and, you know, and in turn, we as artists suffer. They say Jay-Z has a streaming service that he pays more. Now Spotify is trying to pay more. So, and it seems like that people are coming back to the artistry. So I think there might be a brighter day in music and motherfuckers will probably start selling millions again. Look what J. Cole did in one week or, you know what I'm saying? Look at that shit, man, that's beautiful. Look what Beyonce did without no, promotion and J. Cole. It's about the music, man. I feel good because I've always been about the music. So no matter how the business has changed, as long as I keep doing my same thing, like Too Short, never changed his style and just kept on keeping it like he does and it keeps on getting better and better. I feel like no matter what change, as long as you stick to what you do, you will forever be prosperous. She's a real nigga cause she, so she, cause she takes me to Planned Parenthood the next morning. I'm like, thank you. So, you know, I come in, I tell them what I do for a living, they automatically assume it's an STD. So I'm like, well, test me for whatever, they run all the tests, and then she's like, oh, do you want an HIV test? And I'm like, oh. So with my, my family, we, we don't talk as much as, you know, I would like to. I'm not around as much. I miss a lot of moments. I think for the most part, Hispanic people are very hard workers, and, and we raised, at least I was, and, and my family is, to do a better job cheaper, faster, and just, we're hard workers. Stop giving us such a fucking hard time. The game is bullshit, man. The game is fucking bullshit. If, 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 if you wanna rap or, or sing or whatever, don't become a part of the game. 